Okay, developers, you're using AI at your company, but are you using it in ways to suit each team's specific needs? And more importantly, if that AI has access to your company's data, how do you make sure it's secure? Let's take a look at a demo of something we use here at Mercado using Mercado's enterprise MCP platform. So I'm a marketer. I'm going to try to update the campaign visuals based on Q3 learnings and create tickets for the design team. Okay, so Claude is already trying to search Google Drive for me. Now, this would have taken me 10 to 15 minutes maybe if I was trying to do this myself, looking through Drive, Google Sheets, Jira, and Figma. But Claude is going to take care of all of that for me. Okay, Claude has searched Jira tickets. We can see it's even gotten a Figma asset ID. It was able to get the specific comments on that Figma file, summarized some Q3 learnings. It's created three JIRA tickets for me. And now it's sent a Slack message to my team. So then Claude gives me a final summary of what it did. Three JIRA tickets here, designed 87, 88, and 89. Perfect. I can even open up one of these and view it in our JIRA account. Okay, that was great. How did Claude know how to do all of that? Well, we started with this API collection that we built specifically for the marketing team. There's fusion about which app to talk to, to pick out of hundreds of different possible tools that you would get in normal application-specific MCPs. We're just using Workato's API platform with a marketing-specific API that deals directly with the systems relevant to the marketer. Now, how do we turn that into an MCP server? So we'll go to Workato's AI hub, create an MCP server from our existing API collection, and hit create. And that's it. it. Took me three clicks. We copy this URL, paste that into Claude, and we're all done. Finally, we can set up our user access. So instead of token-based auth, we'll use Workato's identity platform to be able to attach specific user groups to access the MCP, as well as to tie a user's identity directly to the calls made by AI. What that gets you is a series of runtime connections attached to each individual user. So Claude will be executing these tools with the user's credentials instead of a service account. And finally, everything is entirely observable. So if we go back to our API platform and go to our logs, we can see all of the calls that were being made directly by Claude, all fully observable, all on Mercado's enterprise grade platform. And that's it. Thanks.